So our theme is ready for development. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, load the necessary bootstrap files because we're going to be using that framework uh, for our front end stuff. I'm going to go back to my index.php and I'll just take this out. And actually I'm going back to my browser <laughs> and I'm going to load, um, just going to copy and paste that HTML template because it's much quicker. Copy that, switch back over to my index.php and paste. And I need to do a couple of things. Um, first thing, we're going to take this title out and we're going to use a WordPress function to load in our uh, website name. And that function is uh, blog info. And I have a IntelliSense plugin for WordPress. And I'll show you how to install that later. I'm going to put in name because I want the name of my website and I'll save it and if I go back to my browser and close this and refresh uh, you'll see the name of my website let's go back to my index.php and uh, I'll explain really quickly what happened uh, this is a WordPress function and what it does is it gets the name of your website pretty uh, self-explanatory um, now there's an actual preferred method of loading CSS and JavaScript, and I'm going to go over that right now. Um, if you're familiar with the Bootstrap framework, uh, you'll know that there's a lot of cool classes that you can use uh, to style things like anchor tags. And I'll show you that uh, this doesn't work because uh, CSS and JavaScript is not properly loaded. I'll just put, um, I'll close that out and save it refresh and uh, you'll see that um, it's not styled like a button like it normally would be and if I were to actually look inspect this element and check my console you'll see that I get two 404 not found messages and they're both related to the bootstrap files uh, CSS and JavaScript uh, if you look at this path a little closer you'll see that it's actually not referencing uh, referencing our JavaScript and CSS properly. And it's looking for these two folders, CSS and JavaScript, in the uh, actual website root directory. And we need it to go into our theme directory because that's where they're located. So I'm going to go back to uh, my index.php and I'm going to remove these because. Uh, as I said, there's a preferred way for loading this, and it's actually using um, some PHP WordPress functions. And before I use those functions, I'll need to add something to the uh, the head the head section, and it's going to be WordPress underscore head, just like that. And I'll go ahead and do the footer right now. These are hooks. And I'll explain what hooks are a little bit later, but uh, for right now, let's go ahead and just get this set up. Um, I think that's it. Save that. And I need to open up a new file. And I'm going to call it functions.php. Uh, it's important that you name this functions.php because uh, the, WordPress is, the WordPress code is actually going to look for this file. And uh, it's going to use it to um, load some functions for us. Uh, I'm going to open up a code block and I'll just put, I mean, a comment block, excuse me, CSS and JavaScript, because that's what our function is going to do. We're going to need to write a function uh, for loading these. And I'm just going to call this function load. And this will be really long but I want you to understand what it's doing load function oh, it's going to be called load styles and scripts and we need to do two things I need to load styles oops I have this commenting plugin and uh, I'll show you how to install that too and load scripts be annoying sometimes anyway we're going to use the default not default but uh, built-in WordPress function uh, 
WordPress MQ style uh, for our style sheet. And I'm going to close it out like this. And it takes uh, a few properties. And one of them is a uh, name. And we're just going to call it bootstrap dash styles. And somebody's texting me. And it takes uh, the second property it takes is the actual location of it. Now, I'm going to take advantage of another WordPress uh, function for getting the template directory. And I'll go ahead and just use my IntelliSense. And it's called get underscore template underscore directory underscore URI. And what that does is it just gets the theme location uh, depending on where you have WordPress set up. I'm going to concatenate this with some single quotes. And I'll put forward slash CSS, forward slash bootstrap dot min dot CSS because that's where it's, it's located. And um, also remember we have our main style sheet, and I'm just going to copy and paste that. And that's the style dot CSS. So I'm just going to put, I'll just call this one main styles, styles. I won't need this because it's actually in the uh, theme directory, so I'll just take this out. And I'll take this out as well. And it's called style.css. And I'll go ahead and save it for safe measure. And now we need to do the same thing for the scripts. And much like our style sheets, there's a built in WordPress function for um, loading the scripts. If I can spell it right, I'll get to it. Let's see, close it with a semicolon, and it also has two properties, and one of them is the same thing, it's the name, and I'll call it, uh, we need to load jQuery first, actually, so we'll put jQuery, comma, um, we're actually going to pull it from the jQuery website, so it'll be http colon forward slash forward slash code dot jQuery.com forward slash jQuery oops jQuery dot min dot js so we have our jQuery loaded and I'm just gonna copy and paste this all right and we need to name this one bootstrap scripts for all of our jQuery plugins and the location is actually going to be a reference, much like our style sheets. I'm just going to copy and paste this up here. Remember, it's to get template directory URI. And I'll concatenate that. And put forward slash JS forward slash uh, bootstrap dot min dot JS. And save it. And we need to do one more thing. Um, we need to add an action. And again, this is another um, WordPress function. I'm going to use as many of them as I can. And I'll close that out. And this one actually takes a very specific name. And it's called WPMQ scripts with an S at the end, comma. And then the second property it's going to take is the name of our function. We called it load styles and scripts. So just copy that and paste it in there and save it. And if I go back to my browser and refresh, you'll see now that two things have happened. One, our WordPress head that we uh, added to our index.php. Um, made it possible for uh, the CMS or WordPress to load in this dashboard. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is called. Like a help bar or something. And also, our Bootstrap CSS is now loaded. Uh, we don't get our errors anymore down here. And if we go over to Elements, you'll see that uh, within our head tag, WordPress has also injected a bunch of stuff. But uh, don't worry about them for right now. Uh, you'll see that it loaded the proper CSS, and 
jQuery's right here, and we also have our Bootstrap JavaScript. So we're all set up now, and we're ready to go. And in the next video, I promise it'll get more fun and interesting. Uh, we're actually going to start using the uh, Bootstrap uh, plugins, and we'll put I don't know a slider, some nav, a lot of cool stuff. And um, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.